Okay, so our first step in creating a background like this with the texture on it is to um, you start with a board. You can use a board or um, you can use a canvas. Um, if you're using a small canvas, it'd be better if you're using if you want to make something quite large. You may not want to use canvas because when you put the metal on, it causes it to be a little heavy and the canvas can flop back and forth. And you can also always put a piece of cardboard in the back of your canvas or a piece of wood to sturdy it up if you want to do that. So first thing you need to do is you take your freezer tape. Now this looks a lot like um, just regular masking tape and if that's all you have you can try that. Um, but the freezer tape is a little bit thicker, just a tiny bit, and it's also a lot stickier than masking tape. So, you know, down the road, your piece isn't going to start peeling off of your background. So I've found that this lasts really well. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to cover your background with the tape. You're going to take small pieces, and we're just going to start layering them on. Put them in different directions. You can overlap them in different ways. Just keep layering and make sure you wrap around your sides because you're going to finish off the edges as well. So you're going to keep going. And this is actually a piece of a recycled real estate sign. I work for a sign shop and um, there's old pieces, old signs that are too weathered to reuse the back backing, but if you cut around the outside edges then you have all this good wood still left in the center of the sign. So I utilize that when I can. So you're just going to keep tearing and covering all these different edges here are going to show up when you do your paint layer. You have like a nice line here and then there's a torn edge and a line and a torn edge all different directions. And your paint layers that we're going to do are going to really bring out all that texture and it almost looks like a palette knife texture with oil paints only we're not going to be using oil paints we're going to use just some cheap regular acrylic paint so just keep on tearing and placing this down until you have your entire background covered and then we'll go on to the next step. Now when you're doing this, if you get an area, you know, when you're doing it pretty quickly, you don't have to be too thoughtful about it. If you get an area that, that you notice, you go back and you see, well, I've got several pieces in the same direction and it, there's just too many things that are in the same line. I don't really like that. You just tear a tiny piece and you place it over that section and then you can get your variation that way. And I did teach this class at Create Art Retreat in Chicago last year. And one of my students, sorry I can't remember her name, but one of my students took her tape and tore it lengthwise down the strip. And then she placed the pieces in a, in a vertical pattern so that all her edges were up and down. And, and it really looked kind of neat. So you can really play with this tape layer in different directions and different sizes of tape and um, and see what kind of different textures you can get from that. So just continue to cover, making sure you cover your edges of your canvas or your board. So now I like to put a little bit. I do the same thing on the edges that I do on the top. Some I'll do vertical, horizontal, different diagonals, 
to get a nice difference in pattern on the edge just like we do on the top. So continue covering your board and we will go on to the next step.